Hello YouTube, and I'm sorry I look like garbage. Quite frankly, I feel like garbage too, so it works out. Um, also, I still haven't gone through to watch videos and comment. I'm so sorry. I feel like a bad friend. Um, but what I'm about to tell you probably will make you feel better about the whole situation. Um, at least the not commenting thing. Sunday, oh, by the way, I am week 14 post-op gastric bypass, I think. Um, Erica, if you're watching this, we had surgery on the same day, so if I'm wrong, can you correct me in the comments? Because I don't remember. Anyway, uh, gastric bypass, 14 weeks post-op. I'm down, as far as I know, 57 pounds, but I haven't been able to weigh myself, and I'm about to tell you why. Um, Sunday, on my way to church, I stopped fully and completely at a four-way stop and proceeded with caution, according to the witness. <laughs> And a car came around the corner going 45, 50 miles an hour, speed limit 35, and they T-boned my car right into my driver's side door. <laughs> Pictures are really bad. If I can figure out how to put them up, I'll put them up. Um, so she hit me, basically, with an SUV, and I drove a, a Dodge Intrepid. Um, so in the case of big car versus little car, little car going the speed limit, big car not going the speed limit, big car won. Her car looks like it had been in a fender bender. Like it's, sorry, it's front lights smushed in and the bumper's falling off a little bit. She walked away without a scratch. I, however, was not so lucky. Um, I got out of the hospital yesterday. Um, so I got out of the hospital when, no, two days ago, Wednesday. So I was in the hospital from Sunday to Wednesday and I have a broken pelvis. Yeah, I know. No bueno, right? <laughs> So, my pelvis is fractured in two places, on the left side of my sacrum and on the right side of my iliac, I think is where it's at. Um, so the part that sticks out in front, if you're skinny, that's broken on the right, and the part that's the base of your spine, that's broken on the left. No. Strike that, reverse it. Right iliac, left. No. Dang it. <laughs> I'm sorry, my brain's not working. Right side, sacrum. Left side, iliac. <laughs> Anyway, I wanted to get on, a video, get on here and make a video when I was in the hospital because I was bored, but I'm having really bad nausea problems, and if I'm on the computer for more than like 10 minutes, it makes me throw up. And throwing up is really not good because it kills my <coughs> pelvis. Like, it hurts so bad. And because I've had gastric bypass, nothing comes up. It's just like foamy spit. <coughs> but I'll like retch for like five minutes. Bless you. My little sister's down here with me. I'll show you. Hi, hi. Hi. She took good care of me last night. Um, I'm in the downstairs because I can't get upstairs. I can't climb stairs. I have a handy dandy ugh, walker that helps me scoot to the bathroom. I can't put any pressure on my right foot. I can only put pressure on my left foot. But the left side's broken too, so that's still really painful. But it won't break more. But if I put pressure on my right side, it could break more. Anyway, um, so long story short, it's been a really, really tough week. Um, life changed. It's amazing how things change in an instant. So be grateful for what you have and be happy and always check again when you're about to go through a four-way stop. I always check at least twice. And I don't remember the accident because it knocked me out and I wasn't conscious. Well, I guess I... A neighbor of mine came out and took pictures for me and talked to me, apparently. I don't remember the accident. All I remember is seeing the big red car coming at me. I don't even remember where it was, why it happened. I don't understand. So I was really relieved to hear the witness say it was 100% their fault. Um, so I have a lawyer. Uh, there will be a lawsuit. Um, hopefully it'll be settled out of court. My lawyer is just going to go for whatever the maximum of their insurance was. So if it's $30,000, I'll probably pocket about $5,000. If it's a million dollars, I'll probably pocket a lot more. But it's not a million dollars. It's probably $30,000. That's the basic, basic insurance in Texas. However, if I'm going to be a reckless driver and decide I don't care about stop signs or speed limits, I'm going to have a lot more in my insurance policy. Anyway, um, my medical bills are probably about $20,000. So that sucks. And I don't have insurance. Yeah, I know, right? I lost my insurance last 
September. I think you guys knew that though, because I had my gastric bypass right before I lost my insurance. Anyway, um, the plus side is that I'll be around for longer. Um, I can't go on my mission in December, so that's sad to me. Sorry, I'm not gonna cry. <sighs> sad to me, but it's also happy because there are things I could be doing here that I couldn't do while I was on my mission, like make my YouTube videos, or um, I haven't really gone to much of the singles activities because I was going on a mission and now I'm not, so maybe, who knows? Maybe I'll find a man. It could happen, right? Um, it'll probably be three months before I'm fully recovered. It's painful. <sighs> and it's, um, been hard, but my family's taking good care of me, and I'm gonna be okay, and I'm grateful that I'm gonna be okay because in the, in the ambulance, believe it or not, the paramedic told me, you really should be dead. So I'm sorry you're in pain, but you really should be dead. And I was like, oh, okay, well I'm okay then. Um, although it's funny because in, in shock, like the only thing I could think to do was to be like, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry. And they're like, why are you saying sorry? I'm like, I don't know. And then I said thank you a lot. Like, thank you, thank you, thank you, I'm sorry, thank you. So it's funny. I'll take it. They said most people in shock are mean. So I was glad I wasn't mean because that's not really who I am. But um, yeah, so people in the R love me because I was nice to them. Um, what else is there? Just the accent. I can't weigh myself. So I don't know if I lost weight. But the most I've had to eat was yesterday in the last four days. I had a little thing of cheesecake. It was like that big and I didn't even eat it all. Um, that stayed down. And then I had a little bit of chicken tortilla stuff, and that stayed down. And that's the first thing I've had to eat that's actually stayed down since the accident. What? Oh, I had a, one piece of chicken from Panda Express the other day that didn't stay down. I had like a little single serving thing that they you can get from Panda Express. It took me like four days to eat it. And a couple times I threw it up. But because of the gastric bypass, when I throw up, even if I have a little bit of food in my stomach, sometimes it doesn't come up if it's just a little bit because it's already in my intestines, I think. Anyway, I hope everything's going well with you guys. As soon as I can handle being on the computer for more than 10 minutes without throwing up, I promise I will come and look and comment. I'm thinking about you all, um, your surgery dates, your progress. I hope you're doing well. You're in my prayers. Um, and I will get on here as soon as I can. Um, probably be on here a lot more because, well, I'm not really going anywhere. I can hobble to the bathroom and that's about it. Which, by the way, is a blessing because using a bedpan is something I never want to do again. Ew. Alright, well, have a great week. I'll talk to you guys later.